get a lot of questions each year about spray drift. It's the topic of today's Iron Talk. Wind is always a big consideration on the farm, but other than not spraying on windy days, there are several things you can do to get a handle on it. Almost every day has some degree of wind, and even if it's only three or five miles per hour, it still needs to be managed. First of all, your spray nozzles make a huge difference. It's a balancing act between coverage and drift control, though. My personal favorite tip for getting coverage is the Hypro 3D nozzle. It works awesome for insecticides, fungicides, and contact herbicides. However, smaller droplets can blow away easier, so you may have to lean more towards a nozzle that makes a coarser and larger droplet, especially with some of the crop protection products. The height of your spray boom above a crop also makes a big difference, and honestly, it's one of those details that gets missed the most. If your boom is three or four feet above the crop, you're much more prone to drift. The best recommendation I can give you, depending on your tips and spacing, is to have the boom 20 inches above the crop. You still get your full spray pattern and you're less exposed to wind. Work with your equipment provider to change nozzles or change the spacing of the nozzles on your boom to allow you to lower that boom down closer to the crop canopy. Faster operating speeds can be and frequently are an issue with drift as well. You want to cover a lot of acres, but running faster leads to more drift. The guideline is to never run above 15 miles per hour, and if you could go slower than that, it would be much better. Upgrade your nurse trailer. That'll keep you moving faster in your spray operations, and it's the best way to speed things up without giving up coverage or causing drift. Finally, maintain a safe buffer around sensitive crops. With some products like the newer dicamba herbicides, for example, it's right on the label. Play it extra safe on the field borders with wind, spray tips, boom height, and sprayer operation speed. Follow these tips, and spray drift can be managed properly on your farm. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.